Look all around the world at the state of our society and climate. Superstorms like Harvey and Irma crashed into Texas and Florida, smashing rainfall and wind records, and a large 8.1 earthquake in Mexico caused devastating damage. For more than 10 years, our planet's climate has been changing at an alarming rate when compared to geologic records, with increased superstorms, earthquake, and volcanoes worldwide. At the same time, the media focuses our attention away from all of this towards celebrities, icons, and war to divert from the truth. So what really is the truth? As tides around the globe begin receding at a shocking rate, as seen in Florida, Brazil, and Egypt, and large earthquakes and volcanoes increase, we all deserve to know what's really happening, and if an outside force is actually to blame for all of this. We must not shy away from this information any longer, for a time of great change is upon us that has been written about for thousands of years. To understand what's happening, we must first go back to the earliest developed human civilization on Earth, known as the Sumerians, in what's today known as Iraq. The Sumerians represent the first civilization to develop advanced writing techniques as well as tracking events and chronicling our ancient history. The Sumerians claimed that their knowledge of the stars, writing, agriculture, and social structures were all lowered from heaven by great gods who came from a planet with a long elliptical orbit known as Planet X, or Nibiru, meaning the crossing. The name Nibiru is derived from the unusual elliptical orbit that the planet follows, which takes it through our central solar system every 3,600 years. The Sumerians left behind records indicating the existence of this planet in cuneiform writings and cylinder seals. The most famous of these is known as VA-243, which shows a scale model of our solar system, which includes our central sun and the planets that revolve around it, including Planet X, where they claim their gods came from. Today, most of society has been tricked into believing these gods and Planet X are nothing more than a myth and fairy tale to hide the truth with laughter and ridicule. This clever tactic has hidden the real version of history and our origins for generations until over time it has been nearly lost forever. It's time for humanity to awaken from its amnesia of all of this happened before us. The Sumerians called their gods the Anunnaki, which meant those who from heaven to earth came. The Sumerians wrote in detail about both who the Anunnaki were and the events that led to their arrival on earth hundreds of thousands of years ago from Planet X. In these early cuneiform writings, such as the Atrahasis, we learn about two brothers, known as Enki and Enlil, who bitterly fight over the direction of humanity and provides details of the disasters caused by the crossing of Planet X. Much of the turmoil revolves around these two rival families and how this mysterious planet has shaped our story. Enki was a brilliant scientist and was known as the great magician and geneticist of the Anunnaki family. His symbol was represented as a dragon and serpent, and was shown through the modern medical Kedusha symbol. The name E-N means Lord, with Ki being the original name of our planet before it was called Earth, which was later renamed for this great being Ea, a previous name of Enki. Enki's half-brother Enlil, known as the Lord of the Air or Sky, and represented by the Eagle and Bull, was a polar opposite of his brother. His values revolved around a military and highly disciplined mentality whose interests solely lie in the preservation and future of the Empire of Anu. All of the Anunnaki are named after this king of the gods who believes that he rules over Earth. The oldest and most important of these Sumerian writings is known as the Enuma Elish, which is a cuneiform tablet that speaks about our origin story and the devastation in our solar system long ago in the past. Found in 1849 in what is now the area of Mosul, Iraq, the Enuma Elish may be one of the most important pieces of writing in human history for the unaltered and extensive information given for the events of the ancient past. The Enuma Elish contains seven tablets, with the first five describing the turbulent celestial events that happened long ago when these Anunnaki royal gods acted out roles as the planets of our solar system like a grand play, with Marduk being represented as the planet as Jupiter. Reading from an excerpt from Tablet 6 of the Enuma Elish, it states, They bound him, holding him before Enki. They inflicted the penalty on him and severed his blood vessels. From his blood, he, Enki, created mankind, on whom he imposed the service of the gods and set the gods free. 
After the wise Enki had created mankind and had imposed the service of the gods upon them, the task is beyond comprehension. The gods were then divided, all of the Anunnaki into upper and lower groups. He assigned 300 in the heavens to guard the decrees of Anu and appointed them as guard. Enlil has always hated humanity and called them the beasts, referencing their primitive nature in compared to their DNA. These brothers were given ownership and responsibility over planet Earth and deemed themselves gods of everything beneath them. Most of our story and the extensive conflict throughout humanity all stems from the jealousy that arose between Enlil and his sons over the gifts within the human genome that were instilled secretly by using Enki's own DNA himself. We learn in the Enuma Elish in Atrahasis that the Anunnaki created humanity to ease the workload of the Ajiji, the workforce of the royal family, and to jumpstart the genetics of the Neanderthal with their own DNA to toil in the Absu, which we know is South Africa. Today, thousands if not millions of ancient mining sites dating to over 100,000 years old, utilizing advanced smelting techniques, have been found all over the region. This is the ancient reason why we still value gold nearly above all else, and is part of our long history of slavery on the planet. We are now just waking up to the truth of all of this. The original purpose behind the creation of Homo sapiens, through the eyes of Enlil, was to become a simple slave race, with only enough intelligence to comprehend basic orders. Even the idea of giving humans more intelligence through splicing their own Anunnaki DNA greatly angered Enlil, and he fiercely opposed it. Unbeknownst to Enlil, his half-brother Enki ended up secretly designing a model of Homo sapien that was far too intelligent and possessed large amounts of Anunnaki DNA that could even rival their greatness as a species. Enki felt great responsibility and compassion for his creation and endowed Homo sapiens with an advanced brain and higher consciousness with chakra centers of energy that could be manipulated from a distance in the future in case humanity became enslaved by ideas. When Enlil found out that Enki had given Homo sapiens the gifts of their intelligence and the right to free will through conscious expansion, he was furious and promised to enslave humanity forever and never allow them to know the truth of who they really are. Much of the current reality stems from the promise that has always been kept and is the purpose behind the inversion of so many meanings that lead back to the truth, such as the demonization of the snake, Enki symbol. This realization of reality can be uncomfortable to accept, but necessary for growth and perspective. When Enlil was chosen to be the ruler of Earth, instead of his half-brother Enki, a promise that had been made for the ultimate slavery of humanity was orchestrated and carried out 12,800 years ago as the planet of crossing Planet X approached Perihelion and disaster occurred across the Earth, as told by Atrahasis, who was also known as Noah. This represented the great reset button of humanity, and just the calamity needed by Enlil to permanently enslave humanity by tricking them through the conditioning of certain ideas and laws, so that society would unknowingly give all of their energy away to these gods. In 1991, Dr. Robert Harrington, the chief astronomer of the U.S. Naval Observatory, took an 8-inch telescope to the end of Black Birch, New Zealand, one of the few optimal viewing points on Earth, and discovered a large planetary body approaching our solar system. Dr. Harrington calculated this planetary body to be approaching from below the ecliptic at an angle of around 40 degrees. A year later in 1992, NASA gave two press briefings where they prepared the public for disclosure of a new planet in the far outer reaches of our solar system they called Planet X. Millions followed the events, awaiting the spectacular announcement of a new planet, only to hear silence. Before Harrington could publish his findings, he mysteriously died of throat cancer, and his research was quickly debunked as simply mathematical inaccuracies. All information and stories about Planet X quickly disappeared, and most forgot it even existed. Today, the Vatican Observatory continuously monitors the heavens from multiple telescopes awaiting the great return from heaven of the Anunnaki in Planet X. As we approach the fall of 2017, 3,600 years since the last crossing of Nibiru. The return and fulfilling of the prophecy of Revelation 12 seems imminent as events are unfolding across the world. As Planet X reaches perihelion near Earth, the changes we have been seeing will only increase in intensity. Great care must be followed 
by those living along coastal regions, especially those areas that are very low-lying and prone to flooding. Ocean levels will begin fluctuating dramatically during tidal phases, as well as increased earthquake and volcanic activity. Any large seismic activity could lead to a number of tsunamis along the coast and should be monitored closely. No matter what happens during this pass, records indicate it will not be anywhere near as destructive as the past 12,800 years ago, which led to the end of the Ice Age and the Great Deluge. The biggest impacts from Planet X are likely not going to come from environmental disruptions, but from sweeping change across our social, monetary, political, religious, and scientific understandings. Reality as we know it will change forever once intelligent life is finally announced to the public. All of the silly distractions and ignorance that has plagued our world will melt away with astonishment and wonder once major discoveries in archaeology are revealed that lie under the Great Pyramid of Giza and the Sphinx, known as the Halls of Amente. Our understanding of who we are and our place within the multiverse is just beginning to be understood. This will be a time of weighing our consciousness and measuring our actions to reflect on what kind of being we are and how we can contribute to our timeline story. The Anunnaki gods follow the ancient rules laid down for the balancing of energy during zodiacal cycles. The time of Pisces featured a negative polarity, which is why we saw war dominate the planet for thousands of years. All of these changes represent the great metamorphosis of our time as we enter the positive polarity of Aquarius in the next several years to take the first step on our journey into the cosmos to join our galactic neighbors. What kind of society will we become? One focused on war and material gained by the eagle? or higher consciousness in the lost teachings of the great dragon Enki.